I got three different mo- uh Ooh, we're live. We're oh. here. Uh you guys are watching the delay. Um <laughs> Uh yeah, hey, it's the worst days. We're here. We're live. It's people. People are in the chat already talking. Talking before the show started. That's inappropriate. Hi people. Um hello Is people. That Chatting before the show starts. What is this? The theater? Okay. Um Hey, hey everybody. Welcome or happy and hurt bag and uh uh King Coyote, people who are not on this stream. Um <laughs> welcome to the worst days. We're here to play some horror TTRPG uh goodness. Uh Michael Morris is out this week. He is uh, uh I think doing something else. That's uh <laughs> pretty sure his message was like, I'd really rather not this week if you don't mind. Um so, uh, yeah, the, with these people, these people that I see all the time, no, no, no thank you. Wait, wait, we can do that? You're, That's hey, an option? You're free to do whatever you like. Um, I wasn't feeling it today, so yeah. peace out. Uh, Justin earlier was like, we're not going tonight, right? And I was like, wait, why wouldn't we go tonight? <laughs> well, I was confused. Like, because like, last time I was like, all right, well, we're not having a stream this day. And we're not doing this stream also. Like, wait, are we also off Yeah. Then? So, so a couple of things happened. One, last week, last Wednesday, as I was just like idly on Twitter, hashtag uh, a day off of Twitch started showing up. I was like, what is this? And I had not heard of it before. And it was like, oh, people are going to take a day off of Twitch uh, to, to protest the fact that all of these hate streams are happening um and hate raids and all this stuff and the fact that there aren't tools out yet and so uh i put it out to my players to say like if even one of you wants to participate in this we will participate and we will not stream today um and we came to the conclusion we weren't going to stream um and then i saw uh that this other stream that we're sort of friends with that they were streaming on wednesday night because they don't care about hate raids they were just streaming like crazy um i'm not gonna name any names but uh with us tonight is quinn steefbold hey quinn you're here uh how's it going over there in the corner <laughs> right over here in the corner uh-huh um in the corner with quinn <laughs> all right right now all i can think of um is i don't know if you've ever heard it but like the pe- people do like, you know, like, you know, like their second beat songs or whatever. Someone has done this really great, like, repeating things of, um, what even is that song called? Losing My Religion. Yes, by oh, R.E.M. God. Yeah, um, it's been like just a, a fun little thing with that. Um, and that's stuck in my head right now. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm, I can't explain this well because it's a sound, so... What am I to do? So you got an earworm. Yeah. Burrowing into your skull. Into your into your sound brain. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yes. Um, <laughs> thank you, Quinn. It's been uh, a long day. I didn't take yeah. a nap or anything. So. And you've had to deal with Apple people. So, uh, so oh yeah. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. But you're here yeah. in streaming. Yep. And then uh, Monday night, we didn't stream uh, just because uh, all the people who were going to stream except for me were on vacation. So uh, <laughs> so that, that – oh, and then we were going to do our Friday stream, but we couldn't get enough of our core group of people to do that. So, yeah, it's been a real rough week for streaming. So, Justin, I don't blame you for just assuming that everything was over, um, <laughs> that everything had just <laughs> collapsed. Um, but since What's I disappointed you and we're here, how are you tonight, Justin? I'm doing better now, knowing that the world isn't collapsing around me. Sure. I mean, that is that... still happening. But oh, this, okay. these streams are still happening, too. Like, they, <laughs> the world is not any less collapsing around us than it was uh, when we weren't sure whether we were streaming tonight. <laughs> oh, you fr- <laughs> you did. You, fr- you did the whole freeze and speed up thing. Like, you predicted you would. Yep. Um, and I think I'm doing... Nope. I didn't oh, do you it again that time. I'll do it later. <laughs> Great. Uh, <laughs> excellent. Speaking of doing it later, uh, Rachel Max is here. How are you, Rachel? Queen of procrastination. 
I don't know. Oh, yeah, you absolutely correct. Is it? I was taking a shot in the dark. I think everybody is. No, I, I'm one of those people that I've, like, throughout all of college, mm -hmm. I would start writing papers at a good solid 2 a.m. Okay. It was due that day. It sure. was just how I did things. I really am procrastination queen. Uh-huh. <laughs> um... Uh, I'm doing great though. I'm doing just fine. I'm recuperated because I did go on vacation, even though I wasn't one of the Monday streaming people. It's true. Uh, where did you go on vacation? Unless you don't want to tell us that. That's fine. Nah, I went to the Poconos. It was sick. I went, I went camping in an RV. I've never done that in my life. It, I recommend it 10 out of 10, uh, unless you're tall in which don't do it. Cause you're going to be taller than the RV. It's going to be great. Yeah, no. My boyfriend's the... legs were too long for the shower, too long for the bed. It, it, it was a problem. I... Where I, are the I, Poconos? I... Where in the Poconos? Uh, where are no, they? No, Some... they were asking <laughs> where, where are, are the Poconos. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I'm sorry. I just assume everyone knows where the Poconos are. I have heard of the Poconos. I just don't know where they are. They're a, they're a sort yeah, of they're mountainous like region me. north of Philadelphia. Gotcha. And it's a, like actually mountain. a large part of Pennsylvania. Honestly, like it, people are like, oh yeah, I'm going to the Poconos, but there's a lot of Poconos to go to, so you could be in one part and the next part's like an hour away. Gotcha. Um, we were in, in the two parts. What's that, Quinn? So what's the, if you have the Poconos and then nothing, and then the Poconos? What's in between? No, it's just the Poconos continuously for quite some time. Uh, it's, it's where you're at. It's it's like Texas. You could be in one part of Texas and it's really far from another part of Texas. Exactly. Uh, and what's just a mountain in between? Range. Texas. Nothing. I don't understand. Yeah, the the mountain, maybe? Lots of other people. So, um, what's in between Texas and Texas? I... Uh, a, a, a creamy center. <laughs> um, <laughs> hope not. Uh, uh, we were in the Poconos. Um, <laughs> About two months ago, actually, mm -hmm. uh, we got a house that was way too small Ooh. for the number of people who were in oh. the house. Um, <laughs> and I know that Bliss is in Pennsylvania right now as well, vacationing. So I don't... It's very weird how the Tuesday night and Wednesday night groups are in such synchronicity about things. Very, very strange. Uh, but we speaking about... Work. What's that? We just make it work. Yeah, or you're all messaging each other behind my back. Um, so you don't know. So that yeah, well, that's the behind my back part. He's on to us. I mean, that's. <laughs> I delete the chat. Delete the chat. Wait, wait, Bree. Do you think it's because we keep doing all of these asides during the stream? I think you know, there's no way. Like, I, I think they alienate him. I don't think he likes it. <laughs> oh, okay. We should no, also no clue. You never know. We should also you stop burping okay. on Mike. He doesn't like that either. <laughs> Oh, sorry, guys. I got a text. I I was miles away. Anyway, oh, um, sure. so uh, <laughs> uh, this Hi, this dang computer wristwatch confuses my old brain, and I can't. Um, <laughs> uh, but speaking of pollination, Brie Price is here. Um, here I am, ready to hand pollinate <laughs> anyone that wants it. <laughs> oh. That is not a binding <laughs> offer, Internet. That is not a binding offer. <laughs> the views of Bree are not reflected upon. Uh, I fully support Bree's freedom to hand pollinate whoever. I can hand, I can hand pollinate whoever I want. Okay? I will also say that Internet don't don't think you could just take them up on that. <laughs> um, <laughs> you have to prove you you have to prove that you're a plant with two forms of ID. Also that you're not self-pollinating. That like <laughs> you need a, a note from your doctor that says that you're not self-pollinating. You're medically exempt from like, self-pollination. Uh, yes, exactly. Does the form from the doctor count as a form of ID? No. No, you need at least one state issued ID and then like a utility bill <laughs> that has your name oh, on it. So, to prove that you're a plant. To prove that you're a plant, like you're yes. Proving, I thought it was like you need to prove that you're two plants. That I... <laughs> two plants in a trench coat? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but that does remind me of one of my favorite jokes in the world. And then I promise we will get to the horror. <laughs> But, no, let's just do this. No. Um, let's just screw around. Yeah, you want to screw around so your characters live through the night. Um, uh -huh. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. A guy. <laughs> A guy walks into a psychiatrist's <laughs> office and jumps up on the table and yells, I'm a teepee. He jumps down and goes, I'm a wigwam. Jumps up and goes, I'm a teepee. Jumps down and says, I'm a wigwam. And the psychiatrist looks at him and says, please calm down. You're too tense. Hey. I love that joke. Do you? <laughs> uh, I do. I I love it so you much. You love dad jokes. That That's more of a... I. I I wouldn't really classify that as a dad joke, play on but words. yeah, Funny. it's a it's it's a play on Fun. words. Um, that's uh, horror. You guys, horror. You guys are here for horror. The the Dude, audience is here for. Coat is a Beck B side. Uh uh huh. Yes. I know that's funny, dude. My yep. freaking keyboard doesn't work. Otherwise, I would be chatting more. That's a very likely scenario. My keyboard, uh, if my keyboard worked better, I'd have it all the jokes. Ask, ask King Coyote, this fucking keyboard is a piece of shit. I see you <laughs> chatting in the chat. What is, what's I'm, that? I, it's because I keep slamming the keyboard into the <laughs> table to try to get it to work. <laughs> Mike didn't pick that up. Yeah, that's true. Well, my excuse is, is uh, I don't have internet. Still. So hi chat. Yeah. Quinn One is day you will. Quinn is Quinn is with us by the power of willpower. Uh yes. no internet, but just a real yeah, gumption. Uh, cellular data? What's that? Nah, yeah. nah. This is this is force of mind. Yes. And it gives me a plus two to my peace of mind. <laughs> no. Does it now? No, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that Midwestern know-how can maybe get you on the internet, but it doesn't help with the peace of mind. Um, <laughs> Speaking of peace of mind. Uh, so yeah, peace of mind. So last we left y'all, you had just seen a bunch of, again, okay, content warning. Um, we've, we've dealt with some real messed up shit already. Uh, and it's only getting worse. And it's going to get worse. Uh, so... Uh, so far, y'all have seen dismembered bodies, um, and na and then last episode, uh, naked Donnie. Yes, you did see naked Donnie. Um, yeah. And then um, you saw, you walked through a door, and you were suddenly in an apartment, and you heard people calling out to each other, and then you saw a uh, a body fall past. The window. Um, you're standing in an apartment. Uh, you have just watched somebody fall right past the window. Uh, what do you do? Look out the window. Run to that window. Actually, no, Charlie's looking at the door behind us because I was dragged unwilling from these bodies. Oh, that's so true. I am not running the window. Uh, and I'm what looking you... out the window to see you who... See who what? Who who's out there? What happened? Is she okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> She's like, I'm fine. Are you all right down there? For, for, for those of us who know um, that live here, we know we're on the sixth floor. After, somehow, right? Well, you certainly you've heard voices uh, like Mrs. Baker's voice, and you heard people mm -hmm. calling out to each other. Um, and we just came from somewhere. I see anyone who uh, came like, from a like basement, someone... but somehow we're on the sixth floor. Right. Uh, and you believe you've just watched Julie Farrow jump off the roof in 1966. So six years ago. Um, and uh, so Lucy runs to the window. Um, it's open. You look down. Oh, it's not good. Uh, there is definitely a person on the sidewalk, and there is a lot of of blood, um, and just sort of like a splatter pattern. Um, I assume I lose some peace of mind. You've lost enough already. Uh, you've you you who started at like thirty are now down to eighteen. Um, so Ooh, that's a big jump. Well, you lost them piece by piece last episode. Okay. Um, you did. Okay. You did see dismembered <laughs> bodies. Like yeah. yeah. Uh, you saw dismembered bodies. There was a ghost figure. 
you're in a a, a basement yeah. that was an insane asylum. So yeah, uh, things. You're Two no- questions. What's that? Uh, is is the girl who we assume to be Julie? Does she look pregnant? Um, and then my follow up question: If I look up, does it look like someone put her? So I'm going to answer your second question first, uh, which is: You look up and you don't see anything. <laughs> Anything really. It's just the, you, you see the, out of the ordinary, the edge of the building. Um, and yeah, to, to, to King Coyote's point <laughs> in the chat, does she look pregnant? Not anymore. Um, the, uh, she landed face down. Uh, and I'm going to say, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's where she lived, right? Uh, it doesn't, it, yeah. <laughs> It does not seem to you that that you could tell such a thing at the moment. Um, she did not. She was not, let's say, nine months pregnant. And there's also just like another person on the sidewalk. Let's put it that way. That's not. That's not what's happening here. Um, so, uh, but yes, you look down. There is a dead woman on the ground. Uh, you look up. You can't really see. I mean, you're looking up from the outside at the roof. And unless somebody was leaning over the edge, you wouldn't be able to see anything anyway. But nobody's leaning over the edge. Um, uh, Charlie is looking back through the door. And what Charlie sees through the door is uh, a not much younger uh, Mrs. Baker, but a little bit younger Mrs. Baker walking towards the room with uh, looking as if she is looking for someone. Uh, um, hi. She does not respond. She, she enters the room and starts to walk around the room and just seems like frustrated. Um, and just sort of picks up a magazine, looks at it and throws it down. And Can I try um, and like step right in front of her path? Sure. Yeah, you do that, and she walks right through you. Um, oh, my God. Guys. I, I see this happen, and I just go like, um, I can, whatever we took, I, I, I feel it. I, I feel it now. Oh, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't think it's, it's, it's what you took, because I, I, I didn't take anything. And, and there was a door here, right? We went through a door, and now I can't see a door. It's just, there's her kitchen, and, and this is her room. And, and Mrs. Baker just walked through me, and she's, she's young, and we just watched someone, some, someone uh, fall, fall. We need, we um, need to, we need to what? go out. We need to leave this place now, okay, right but now. How, how do we leave? Go, we need to go out the door. The door to the, the apartment. Go to the kitchen? Go Like, where the door used to be? Where yeah. the door is. is and quiet. I just start looking. I look what for the, the front what door. What if the guy's there? What if the humming guy's there? The who? The guy who was humming. That was oh coming my towards God. us. Yeah, I totally forgot. Um, I was... Yeah, that is why you pulled me away. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yes. I am rattled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys, um, she is looking around the room, and then she basically comes to the window to close it and looks uh, looks out and sort of fans herself and then looks down. And she just covers her mouth and goes, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And she closes the windows and storms out of the room. Follow her. I'm following her. Um, all right. So you guys walk out of the room and you are immediately back in uh, the basement. In the little oh, room uh, on the other side of uh, where the bodies were. Is anyone here? No, Donnie is not here. Uh, weird. Uh. Donnie's gone. Are the... Are the, are the... <laughs> Uh, chopped up body still there. 
that well you're in the other room so oh, okay we're in okay. you're in the next room down although i will okay. say donnie's oh. clothes are here um is there something grab for him i'll i'll grab donnie's clothes and tuck them away is is there like a broken pipe or something around weapons no you guys are in more of like an office area okay. um so like an office storage room it's more of like just a small like small office room couple of desks old okay. lamps um uh but nothing nothing here that could be i mean you could pick up a rusty old lamp i suppose and, and wield it as a bludgeoning weapon <laughs> Any important papers or anything on the desk? Like anything that stands out? Uh, there are some papers on the desk if you want to pick them up and look at them. I would. All right. So you pick them up and they immediately start to fall to pieces in your hands. Oh, boy. Uh, they are old I and guess crumbly. Oh. What was that, uh, Rachel? I guess they weren't that important. I guess those well, I mean, weren't important. Important papers do fall apart otherwise. <laughs> Um, not important enough for me to know <laughs> is this room dark uh there's a little bit of light coming from the other room which is weird because the other room didn't have any light in it um charlie turns back to everyone and she has like a white knuckle grip on her notebook and pen which are still in her hands and she goes okay now i'm gonna test it test the theory and steps back through the door we just went through um, you're back in the room that you were in, but the bodies are gone. You're, you do not seem to be transporting in time. You are just transporting okay. between the two that, rooms. I do that a good, like, five more times. Uh -huh. Um, and when it's clear it's not going to happen again, I, I, I stop doing it. <laughs> okay. Can, uh can we go now? Can we leave now? Can we go Can home? Can we leave? Can we go oh. home, please? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm like flipping through my notes. How much of, of what was carved into the bodies did I get down? <laughs> not that much. A, a few words here and there, but nothing, okay. not a whole lot. You got pulled away pretty quickly. Yeah, guys, because cause, um, I don't know who we tell about this because the bodies are gone. No one? How do who do we tell? How do we tell? You know I mean I feel like just... you tell someone that you found chopped up bodies in your basement. I don't yes. I don't think I don't think we saw them down, down the naked. They're not real. I don't think we saw them. I think I think we're all hallucinating. We we got drugged. We got we we drank so I uh, you me you, and you you took that and I took it and and, and you yeah. guys must have taken it and and Maybe the that's what's happened. We had the mezcal. Maybe Mark. something the mezcal that we all took. And it's fucking with us, and we just need to go sleep it off. And that's what we need to do, and we need to go home now. That's okay, what's happening. Okay, okay. We're, we're, we're going home. Okay, I'm walk just, and talk. I'm, I'm, walk, I'm, walk and I'm talk, like I push. Okay, well, push. walk and talk. <laughs> Can we discuss, though, that Baker, Miss Baker's reaction was really fucked up, though? Can we Can we all acknowledge that? Can we Can acknowledge you, that that's not real? That doesn't. That didn't happen. There's no reason to talk about it. It was. It didn't happen. It's not it real. It could have been real. Who it's knows? It's not real. That was it's not real. Trippy. No. Listen, listen. I, I mean, I mean, you, you, say, say you're an old lady. You don't have kids. Um, your husband just passed. I don't wait. No, this is when she still had her. No, her husband didn't know. pass. We heard her husband. I don't know, but you take in someone and you're helping them. Um, and maybe they were in like a bad place and you were trying to keep this exact thing from happening and then you see it happen. Of course you're going to say fuck, of course. I mean, this is Mrs. You wouldn't Baker, cry, like, you wouldn't be upset. She seemed angry. I, I, you I, hear I something clatter in the office behind you. Oh my God. Let's go, please. We <laughs> All right, you guys. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Wait, Rachel, are you staying behind to see? No, that's stupid. Yeah, you know, if if Lucy was, Michael's just like gonna just like wrap around her and just run. Okay. <laughs> she like hesitates and he grabs her. Yeah, it's like <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so you guys rush back to the steps uh, and you make your way up 
uh, up the stairs out of the basement um, and back up to the sort of first basement. Uh, do you continue upwards or are you going to pause here to have more discussion? Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're going to continue. We're going to keep running, I think, until either we see Stuart or we get to our room. Okay, so you I'm guys hosted, so very quickly... <laughs> Uh, very quickly get upstairs and into the lobby uh, where Stuart was, uh, but you don't see Stuart. Um, does... Is it still storming outside? Oh, yeah. Okay, question. Do we, so do we in like our apartment have any kind of like landline? Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay. But it's also the landline um, at, at the front desk. Yeah, sure. but then I'm wondering, like, would the front desk have, like, an additional, like, security kind of option? What, is, what does that of, mean? Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't emergency know. button? Anywhere. Yeah, emergency do they have, like, an emergency button like they do at banks? <laughs> <laughs> a silent button? A silent, like a silent, silent alarm. Phone. <laughs> Where's the red phone? No, um, well, yeah. you, the I only really way you would know that is if you went behind the desk to see. I'll go poke around oh in God. Stuart's stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, so you poke around in Stuart's stuff is exactly what you're going to have to do. Because as soon as you come around the desk, you see Stuart. Um, <clears throat> most of Stuart, anyway. <gasps> oh my God. Um, so Stuart is sitting against the backside of the desk. Um, missing his arms. Oh. Uh, guys, um. Yeah? What? Hold, hold on. Uh, Charlie turns in. Dry heaves for a quick second. Do I'm not. Gonna go look no, what's no, going on. no, 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 no. Do not, do not. Do, do, you do not want to see more of this stuff. Um, let's go upstairs our apartment and and that's actually actually you know what you know what i don't want this body to disappear i am i'm going to stand right here and i'm going to call the police okay you know what that, that, that sounds I'm, like a good idea I'm do not do not. i'm peeking i'm peeking <laughs> i'm peeking i'm peeking <laughs> i'll do it, <laughs> I'll do it again. i'm looking <laughs> i need both of you to give me a physical prowess roll <laughs> Both of you okay. give me a physical <laughs> prowess roll. I feel like we're both strong ladies, too. You can't what be as strong, strong as... I can't uh, imagine Lucy is as strong as Charlie, but... Yeah, <laughs> probably not. I got uh, sixes what is gonna on be? both of the dice that aren't my die of fortune. Okay. <laughs> Very sad. Uh, so that's a total of 16. Okay. Oh, God, she beat me. They beat me. Uh, yeah, so Charlie just sort of, like, does one of those things where puts her <laughs> hand out, and Lucy is just, like, like trying to, <laughs> trying to get in there. But while you do that, uh, Charlie, while you're kind of doing that, you look down and you see that there are wet footsteps coming in from the front, from the front doors. Like, as you're kind of looking down, uh, you see that there are wet footsteps leading from the front doors to sort of the center of the lobby there's kind of a little puddle there and then there's steps that lead back behind the the desk kind of keeping my hand there i want to turn around and see <laughs> if they go anywhere after the desk yeah they do seem as you sort of like follow them you see that they then go to the elevators okay okay so um new plan we are not going to go upstairs because i think whoever did this is upstairs so it, i'm going did to, what what's uh, happening it's, there, there's another there's another body um of who and, i mean it's it, 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 it's due so um um i'm gonna start like look. backing no. up backing up yeah. toward so, the the do, doors that do lead outside. Leave? Uh huh. I I am going to pass you this this phone. I'm guessing it's like a cord one, right? Oh That's sure, okay. yes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass this to you, and I'm going to dial the numbers. Um, 
for the uh, 911. Yeah, uh, those those three numbers. I'm gonna press them, um, and and then we're gonna tell them to come here. Um, our lives are in danger. Uh, there is a a dead. Our our doorman has been killed. Uh, it, you don't here here. Um, I'm just holding the phone out at all three of them. <laughs> I, I take it because I assume I'm the closest. Uh huh. Where are we? What is this apartment building called? Just what for when they ask. The Farnsworth. Also, Chad is Farnsworth. asking whether Quinn has ever seen a corded phone. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have. Um, it was a big part of my childhood was playing with corded phones in my grandparents' basement. Oh, playing with them, not using yeah. them, though. I, not I'm, using them. I never got to use them, but I played with them a bunch. I I'm, even played with the ones on, with the little Quinn. dial. Really, really glad you weren't like, yes, I went to a museum once and saw one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I actually had one in my first house, uh, or the first second house, the, the one I first remember living in. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> the other will, ones weren't so memorable. I yeah, will also you know, say the six houses I have. <laughs> um, you guys are only four years after nine one one became a thing. Like nine one one started what? in nineteen sixty eight. I I wondered if it makes if sense said that it took me so like, long to find. I was saying it. I was like, I don't even know what the emergency number the if there even is one. Who do I call the authorities? Just, just talk to the that operator. That was not even a thought through. in my head that there might not be nine one one. So yeah, yeah. Are there uh, operators still? Could you go operator? Well, operator, you would have to hit a yeah. zero. You you would yeah. be like operator, give me uh, <laughs> roll route four four three, please. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Charlie, dial nine one one. I got you. Uh, and I will try not to look down. Okay. Um, all right. 911 is dialed. The phone rings and uh, a person picks up and says, 911. What's your emergency? Hi, I'm at the Farn. I'm at the Farnsworth uh, apartment building, and we've sm our doorman's been murdered. A lot of people have been murdered. Uh, we need someone to come quickly because we're not safe. And there's bloody footprints and lots of dead people and like missing limbs. So, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to calm down for a moment, and yeah, okay, all that. I'm at the Farnsworth apartment building, mm -hmm. and there are lots of dead people, and it is not safe, and we need someone to come down because we're scared we're going to die. Okay, we're sending someone right now. Um, where it's are you in the Farnsworth? We are currently in the at the front door, but we. I don't, uh, I, I don't know. I'm in the apartment building. I'm not from here. I'm visiting family. Lucy, Lucy, I need you to calm down and tell me where you are. Are you with Stu? I got the phone right now! <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you. I want to go. What happened? We need to go. We need to go. So let's leave. Let's let's go. And I'm gonna open the door to the. Or door doesn't open. They know who we are. Uh, I I'll I'll help I'll help Cynthia with the door. See if I can help with that. All right, give me a physical have... prowess roll. Ooh, I'm boy, helping. I'm, I'm pushing, pushing, this. pushing. You're pushing instead of pulling. Whatever don't <laughs> way it opens, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and they were all murdered because Cynthia couldn't pull on a door. <laughs> I, I, so, I don't know what's going on. I took a lot with, of drugs, man. With Cynthia assisting me, do I get one additional die? If you like. <laughs> Josh, I just want to let you know you succeeded in scaring ah. the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm okay. glad. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, as that's... soon as you said Lucy, I was like, fuck! <laughs> Question. Because um, I don't remember, because this was way back in the first one. Um, when I, do I have Rick Moore's contact information? I don't remember if you two exchanged information, but let's say you did. I thought okay. she took a card. Yeah, maybe you, maybe you took a card. Okay. I rolled... 18 total. Ooh. 
five on my um, uh, hope on my die. But okay, so uh, how much was it? Eighteen in total. Eighteen in total. All right. So you sl- you two slam these doors open, um, and they open about thirty percent of the way, and then they push back on you and close again. I slowly back away from the doors. Did it look supernatural? It looked like somebody was pushing the doors, but there wasn't anybody pushing the doors. So, uh, yeah, maybe it could be the wind if we really wanted to, like, make it make sense. If you really wanted to make it make sense, maybe it's that darn <laughs> storm outside. <laughs> A darn storm. Um, yeah. We're going to die. I'm How gonna... much of this was planned? Is this a conspiracy? Were we like put here to die? Because that's where I'm at. I, I don't know, but I'm going to, I'll try calling someone else, okay? And I'm going to try and call Rick Moore. And see if, Is there if, something here that I can up. use as a bat? Um, or a weapon? You can use stew. There are, wow. Uh, <laughs> you do find, so. Stew chucks. So st- what you find is that Stu has one of those big police flashlights, mm-hmm. like the big oh, heavy light. ones. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, so you figure you could really club somebody with one of those. <laughs> um, okay. And then, Charlie, you call and uh, you hear a hello? Um, uh, Rick Moore? No, Charlie, it's Donnie. Do- Donnie? Yeah, are you... Are you still on the lobby? Um, Don't don't worry, Charlie. He's going to be down there soon. You won't have anything to worry about anymore. Who's who's going to be down here? He is. Don't worry. Donnie, what are you talking about? This, I, this, what? Oh my God. Where are my legs? Charlie. Donnie? Charlie, where are my legs? Uh, can you, you can't see them or you can't feel them? And then there's just this high pitched. We're sorry. The number you're trying to call has been disconnected. Charlie? Please hang up and try um, again. Was that Donnie? Yeah, so that was, that was, uh, Donnie. Um, I don't think. Any of the numbers that we are pushing are doing anything. Okay, okay, okay. New, new plan. Um, uh, the fire escape. We're, we're gonna go oh, on the fire escape. Wait, wait, fuck. Uh, but we're on the first floor. We're gonna go up and and go down from there. Um, um, Donnie, Do- I, I. Okay, okay. Donnie said two things that really concern me. Um, Donnie was with. Uh, what's his name? No, that's what I'm saying. I don't think these buttons are doing anything. I think I think someone's I don't know, like uh, you know, plain plain little like I'm gonna put wires and switches and connect you to the right people, and the right people are who I want you to talk to, and not who who you're actually trying to talk to. And um, but uh, Donnie said he's on his way down here, and he's going to take care of us. And that and Donnie's on his way down here. No, no, Donnie just said he. When I asked who he was, he said he. And um, and as you're saying this, you hear the elevator start to go up uh, behind behind you. And you watch okay, the numbers okay, so ding I... up from one to two, all the way up to six. Okay, so we're going to go. You, I think that's a great idea, Cynthia. We're going to go up one floor, and then we're going to go on the fire escape. Yeah, yes. let's do that. Yes, and I book it to the nearest stairs. Okay, you guys uh, rush upstairs as the elevator starts to descend. Um, all right, you you make it to the first floor, um, and uh, all the apartment doors here are wide open. Ah! Is there anything on the floor? Uh, no. Um, I turn around and I, I tell everyone to be quiet, and I look for the nearest fire escape. Um, well, you figure out probably any of these doors into these apartments, they're going to have fire escapes. There's not one from the hallway? I have to go nope. into an apartment. You have building. to go into an apartment. Yeah. Fuck. 
Um, okay, I go to... I, I know somebody on this floor. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go to their apartment. Who do you it's know? A, I babysit for a, a family... Um, and they, it's just a mom and her, and her son and I babysit for them. All right. The Fornellis. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll call it, um, Mary and her son, Anthony. Um, how old's Anthony? He's three. Three. Okay. So you, you're a dead child, aren't we? Um, quiet, quiet, you. You walk right <laughs> into the Fernelli's uh, apartment, and they're there. I mean, I, ju- I okay. They're Hi. just Hi. sitting there. Hi, Mary. Excuse me. I, I sort of knock as I come uh-huh. in. Hi. I'm so sorry to bother you guys. Are you okay? She doesn't exactly look at you and doesn't exactly not look at you. She just sort of turns towards you, smiling. Hi, Mary. Hi, I'm so sorry. I know it's late. I know it's raining. Um, um, what did you say the boy's name was? Anthony? Anthony. Anthony? Is he just watching TV? He's sitting right next to her, and he also just sort of turns in your direction, smiling. Hi, buddy. So good to see you. You guys are up really late. I was just, um, I'm so sorry. I just, I have some friends with me. I just wanted to see if we could use your fire escape. We, 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 um... We lock ourselves out of our apartment. We're going to just climb up from the outside. I just want to know if we could use your fire escape. You can try, dear, but he's coming. Who, who Who's coming? And Anthony looks at you and goes, I can't feel my legs. I don't know where they are. are does he have legs? Oh, yeah. Are you, are you okay? Is he okay? Does he have a fever? It's okay, honey. You can try. But he's coming. I can't okay. feel my legs. I don't know where they are. Okay. That's okay. You know what? You guys have a really great night, okay? Bye, Anthony. See you later. And I'm going to close the door. You can try, dear. But he's coming. And I'm just going to turn to my to everybody. And I'm going to say, this is our best shot, but... We might not make it. I don't want to die. I don't want to go in somebody's apartment. I don't know. I, what if they're all like that? What? Where the hell are we? Are we? We don't have a lot of time. Of like... uh, we don't have a lot of time. I think we should just go for it. Yeah. Go for what? We're the gonna go through this apartment. Right? Ready? Don't yeah. look at them. Don't talk to them. Just go. Ready? And I'm going to yeah. open the door, and I'm just mm-hmm. going to walk right through into the fire escape. Okay. Uh, you walk Following. right through to the window, uh, which uh, you, you open easily. Um, and uh, it's, it's, the rain has lightened up. So uh, you, you get out onto the fire escape, and uh, the, the ladder below you is sort of lifted, but you can sort of knock it down and, and get it down. And you all are able to make it through. Who's the last person through? Probably Michael. Okay. So, Michael, as you as you walk through, uh, the little boy reaches out and grabs your hand. Uh, yeah. Not hard, but he just says, I don't know where my legs are. Normally, they're in your shoes. <laughs> and then he just sort of <laughs> lets, lets you go as you, as you head out towards the, onto the fire escape. Close this window as soon as I get through. Okay. Uh, the, the rain is really lightened up at this point. So mm-hmm. you guys are able to kind of get down the ladder, um, and, uh, and out onto the sidewalk. Is, is the, is it regular traffic? Are people walking around? What's going on? Uh, there, there's not a lot of people out, but then it, it was just torrentially raining just uh, a moment ago. So, also, um, what time of night is it? It's hard to tell, but uh, if one of you is wearing a watch, uh, it's it's just after midnight. Okay. Uh, is this a like completely residential area? 
Um, There's a bodega on the corner, um, you know, but for the most part, it's apartments. I will hightail it for the bodega. Okay. Uh, you run over there, and there's a light on inside, uh, and the door is open, uh, and you can you can get in. And there's a there's uh, a guy behind the counter, <clears throat> older guy. Um, you know, uh, he looks up from his, uh, a magazine he's reading, and he goes, "Oh wow! I, it, did you just run through all that?" Um. Uh, I, I live, uh, just up, up the street. Um, can I, can I, can I use the phone? There's a pay phone in the back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you. This way? Yeah. Are you okay? Um, yeah. No, no. Yeah. Um, uh. I guess at this point we walk in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I assume we'd follow after. Okay. Uh, you, do you need anything? Like, you use the phone, like, that's fine, but can I, you know, can I get you anything? Are you all right? Um, I'm gonna use the phone first, and then I'll get back to you. Okay. All right. Are you all all right? Um, yeah, it's right there, right at the end of the, right at the end of the aisle there. Thank you. As Mm -hmm. good as we're gonna be, uh, I'm gonna pick up a random magazine and, like, make sure it's normal. Like, I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone. I don't remember if the Twilight Zone exists right now, but, like... (laughs) I'm I think it does. Thing. It's an older TV show. I like that the past is just a monolith to you. That I know I the Twilight know Zone's from created. the before times, and I know I'm in the before times, <laughs> so I'm not quite sure where in the before times this well, is, I, but is there a so brontosaurus the nearby? <laughs> that <laughs> On the Twilight Zone, I know yeah, it was rebooted, yeah, but... so it must exist right now. I've seen the Twilight Zone. I just don't know when it started. Yeah, it was the it was the either the late fifties or the early sixties. It was running in the early sixties. Okay. Um, so I, I'm gonna pick up a magazine because and like make sure it's normal, like something like that would say the date and what's going on in the world. Sure. Yeah, you pick up a a a, a magazine. It's um, you know, Time or or something like that, and uh, it says um, uh, you know, 1972, um. You know, something about Nixon. And if I flip through it, I'm not going to see any, like, I can't feel my legs or he's coming, right? No, nothing <laughs> like that. Uh, okay. Nothing like that at all. Um, Does this man have legs? I'm just sus right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's, he's well, he's standing okay. behind the counter. Um, by the way, yeah. the original Twilight Zone was 59 to 64, so I was fucking spot on. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, good for you. So my before times are split up into neat little sections. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, we get it. You're old. Yeah, that's right. I was I was alive back then. I was just having trouble remembering <laughs> when in my childhood the Twilight Zone came out. <laughs> um. So yeah, no, this guy looks. Uh, this guy looks normal. I mean, it's any, as, as normal as any New Yorker looks. <laughs> yeah, well. Um, uh, there's no one outside walking towards us? No, you don't see anybody outside walking towards you. Uh, and he notices you, like, looking out the door and everything. He's like, are you guys all all right? Did something happen? Did somebody get shot? Well, uh, we just had, you know, a really rough night, you know? Oh, Oh well, there's this coffee brewing. Uh, I can make you guys a fresh pot if that if that helps you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Please, thank you. Uh, Quinn, Charlie gets to the phone, uh, drops in uh, a couple of dimes, and um, <clears throat> who does Charlie call? Their mom. <laughs> <laughs> mom. The president. <laughs> No, I want to go home. <laughs> that, I, I was seriously considering that, actually. Um, but I think <laughs> I think oh, I tried calling. Over. I think I tried calling Rick again. Okay. Uh, yeah. You uh, after a couple of rings, you hear like, "Oh, what? Hello." Um. Hi. Uh, Rick. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Who is this? 
Um, this is this is Charlie. Uh, we spoke earlier tonight. Do you remember? Uh, uh, yeah, I got the signal, doll. I you don't you didn't want me to call you anymore. I get it. I I understand. Uh, wasn't wasn't your name Vivian? Who the hell is this? I hang up. <laughs> 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 I'm like nah. <laughs> All right, now I'll call. <laughs> um, call the police. Now I'll call the police. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you dialing nine one one again? I am. Okay. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Um. Hi. Um. I am hello? at. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Yeah. Um. I'm at the. Barnes where um, I live there, um, and my I, I went I, I uh, my doorman was murdered. Um, his arms were missing, um, and I don't know where my roommate is. Um, could you send some people down here, ma'am? I I need to ask you: Have you taken any substances this evening? I have not. No. Okay, have you been drinking this evening? No. Okay, and you say your doorman at the Farnsworth? Uh huh. And, the, and you say his arms were missing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me, give me just a second. All right, hold on the line. Um, and it goes, it goes silent for a minute. <clears throat> And then he comes back and he says, "All right, we've got, we got a couple of people heading down there." Um, ma'am, is where are you now? Um, I'm, 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 I, I, I went up to my apartment. I, I was scared. Okay, so you're in your apartment right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, stay there. Lock the door. Uh, you know, whatever you need to do to feel safe. Uh, what is your apartment number? Um. <laughs> uh, it is 3B. Oh, sorry. Uh, I've been waiting. Right. I'm three I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Farnsworth, it's been gone for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> the old um, Farnsworth what? building? Bah, I haven't <laughs> seen that in a dog's age. Um. <laughs> What what is the what was uh the Fornelli's room number? Uh, it was one F. So they were um, in one F. One F. One F. All right. Uh, we're gonna send some people up there. After where where was the doorman when you last saw him? Yeah. So I last saw him um in the lobby. Um, I went down to the basement. Um, and then I, we went back upstairs and we didn't see him. Um, but we had heard weird noises. Uh, mm -hmm. so we figured we should, we should call someone. Um, and I went behind his desk and, and that's when I saw him and, and he was on the ground dead and he didn't have his arms. Okay. All right. And do you know this gentleman's name? Stuart. Stuart. Okay. <clears throat> and your name, ma'am, please. I'm um, gonna start heading back to where she is just to check on her. Okay. Um. Uh, Vivian. Your Your name is. Are you sure, ma'am? Yes. Vivian, what? Your last name, please. Uh, I. God, what is my last name? Are you sure you haven't Vivian. been taking any drugs this evening, ma'am? I have never seen a dead man before. Okay. I am very rattled. Okay. Um, uh, it's Vivian uh, Steinbeck. Vivian Steinbeck. Okay. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Vivian Steinbeck in 1F at the Farnsworth. Ma'am, I'm. we're sending some people over, but I, I really need to reiterate that using this line for any kind of prank 
or uh, uh, drug trip or something like that uh, is is you could be arrested for that. No, I I understand. Um, yeah, no, there's there's there there was a dead body and he didn't have arms. Okay. All right. Well, we will. Uh, is there a number I can call you back at, or that our our uh, officers can get in touch with you at? Um. Uh. Maybe. I I don't know because I don't. Um. Maybe the the lobby phone. Uh huh. So you're in your apartment and you want us to call you at the lobby. I don't know. I don't know if I I, I want to stay in here or not because. Because my roommate's still missing, and I don't Can know. Can you like, tell me his name, please? Um. Yeah, Anthony. Anthony. Mhm. Mm okay. Just, just Anthony. No last name. At this um, point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wave them down, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say. Uh. Yeah, Anthony. Um. Oh God, his name is Anthony Jones. Anthony Jones. You're Vivian Steinbeck, and he's Anthony Jones. Yeah. All, all right. Okay. All right. Well, um, honestly, there should be somebody at, at the building at this point. Um, okay. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I think... I think I hear someone. Okay. Um. Um. I I I'm gonna I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, ma'am. Stay safe. Call us back if there's a development, and you can't get in touch with an officer. Okay. And 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 you said you're sending people over. There should be people there at, at, right now. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. When they hang up, I'm gonna go. We took drugs. We can't be here when they get here. Yes, I didn't. I didn't tell them our names. I didn't say we took anything. I, I don't just... care what you told them. I'm just saying we need to leave now. Like, okay, but where, where do you want to go? I don't know where. We just to need go. to walk on the street. We just need to walk. We just need to go. Just need to go on the street now. Just okay. leave now. Um, just just start walking. Yes, and I grab you by the arm and just start leading you. Okay. And I, 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 um, I assume I know the bodega uh, owner's name, whose name is um, Paolo. And I'm going to say, uh, thanks so much, Paolo. See, see you in the morning. Uh, good night. I, I hope. Be, be careful, all Thank of you. Thank you. We will. We will. We just need to Where sleep it off. Where are we going? We we are walking now. We're walking. So when you walk out, you see that there are two police cars, two cruisers in front of the Farnsworth. The police are there. They seem to have gotten in the front doors. Um, they're they're like walking around in the lobby area. Um, mm -hmm. and they're they're talking on radios pretty frantically. I'm gonna, Why are we um, going to the police? We have taken because... drugs. Lucy? Okay, we've taken drugs or we die. I'd rather take my chances and be arrested okay. for drugs than what I do die. not. I do not want to go to jail tonight. Here's what I'm worried about. Um, the bodies downstairs did disappear. So in between us going from the lobby to the bodega, if someone took that body, then they're going to think we're crazy and on drugs. And I know that this stuff is real. So we are going to walk and we are going to keep walking until we're far away. And then either news about this will break and we'll find out that it was real. Or... So we abandoned Donnie? I don't know where Donnie is. But Donnie He's... is a grown man and he can take care of himself. Let's get to a place where we can maybe watch what's going on, but, we, but where they can't see us. I think... Okay. I think I'm. Can I can I use cards to 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 do a to do a skill right now? <laughs> if, 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 which skill possible? would you like to do? <laughs> I know a place. Oh, uh, I was about to do that too. Sure. I also have a little black book, so if we need that. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, how do you want to use? I know a place. 
I want to know a place. To... <laughs> I, I know a place we can probably go. All right. Okay, you, you use the cards. <laughs> I, <that's, laughs> it's a, it's a, okay. Um, because like yeah, I was like, I, we we can go to the ball club. Okay, so the the way that this works is you're basically going to do a social smarts roll, and every mm -hmm. level of I know a place gives you a plus two to that roll, uh, in order to try to find somewhere that you might go. Mm -hmm. So a go social smarts. Yep. Uh, you do it, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Not the best, but okay. Okay, so I, I can I use my skill point from this session to take that? Do you not already have it? No, I don't. So yes, you would have to. I mean, I can do a little yep. black books and find someone I know in the area. I'll, and I I'll... do have relatively high social smarts. I think Little Black Book is more like um, people you've fucked. You know, you, yeah, you, you know a person, not a place. I might know someone who f I fucked in the area. <laughs> you know someone who lives right across the street on the opposite apartment building on, like, the third <laughs> floor whose window faces maybe. the street? <laughs> Conveniently, and maybe I that do. That would be a very there. hard roll. If you were, <laughs> we'll see how well you roll. Um, so if you want to roll, so the way Little Black Book works is this skill allows the player to roll to find out whether they can get another option for their path ahead from the GM. So this is basically like, help me out here. Do I know somebody who can kind of give us an option here? Um, okay. So am I still going to attempt my roll? Uh, you can. And then, Rachel, you're rolling attractiveness. Okay. Sick. And then, so <laughs> if I'm using, if I'm using my token to get that skill that's a plus two yes okay <clears throat> Ooh. okay um i just lost one of my dice where did that's it go a <laughs> total of seven on the first roll i have a six on the die on the die of fortune okay and then plus two so that's uh nine and okay. do i re-roll with the <clears throat> the six yes both die or just the one just the die of fortune okay that's a five. So 11, 14, 13, 14, 15, 15. Okay. Um, yeah. So you actually know a, a little dive bar that's near here that you guys could hang out in. Uh, Rachel, what did you get? I got a 12. Okay. So you know somebody in the area, but not closer than this bar. Um, okay. So here's the question. Who wants to stay and watch? Who wants to go? <clears throat> Go. I would like to keep an eye on the police and see if they're murdered. I, that was not a word, murdered. Murdered. They're murdered. They're murdered. I don't know. I'm anxious, okay? <laughs> if they suffer a terrible murdulation. Murdulation. <laughs> murdulation. You know, a little, murdulation. little murder. It's a little bit of both. Uh -huh. uh, mutilation. A little bit of column A, column B. Charlie was very much focused on getting away until... Mm -hmm. uh, Lucy suggested the option of being away, but still knowing what's happening. So okay, so you two were on sort of the right now. the idea Team of like hey, find a dark corner and watch. <laughs> Team observ observation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. And what does Cynthia want to do? <clears throat> uh, uh, Cynthia does not want to break the team up. Um. There, she's gonna stay with you to, and be wanting to hide more, but is also kind of comforted by the fact that we can keep an eye on the cops and make sure they're not coming toward us. Mm -hmm. Worst case scenario, I have a friend. We can go visit. He's not too far, but he's not close where we can see. We can go to him. Okay. Well, um, if they start coming this way, just um, I don't know. Maybe we could just like, we'll just. Uh, We'll just pretend like we were partying and, and throwing up or something, and we'll just laugh and laugh and laugh. Probably not hard to do. Okay. Okay. Speaking okay. of, how's, how's the drugs? Any new developments? No. Have we gone fuzzy okay, right now? 
No, actually, the, oh. the drugs have <laughs> worn you're off. You're asking me. Yeah. <laughs> They've worn off? They yeah. didn't do shit. That was so yeah. lame. <laughs> yeah, you don't feel they the drugs anymore. They did plenty for me. <laughs> um all right so uh justin are cool you gonna it. hang out with them while they observe while they find a dark corner uh, and observe i'd rather just leave so you are you gonna just walk away from them um i i, I want to argue with them like hey no we need to go and not stay around here but if oh. if they don't want to listen to that yeah i'll just walk away how far is this you're just gonna far. leave me it's a couple you of blocks me away. Three years ago, <gasps> oh, no. so I can do this now. And then Michael just starts walking away. Thing. No, I'm gonna grab him. This is a different thing. I left you to go live a life. You're leaving me to die. You want to leave me to die? Well, you could always he, follow me. We would me, die if we stay boys. here, or he would die if he leaves. This is an important clarification. Do you think we're gonna die if we stay here? I think we're gonna die regardless. I think we're gonna die. Why? We're in the twilight zone and we can't leave. I think we're stuck in some like wormhole and we're not gonna make it tonight. We are just coming down and this is all gonna be fine if we can just go to sleep. I tonight. don't feel comfortable here. As you guys are arguing, somewhere. an ambulance rolls up to the front of the Farnsworth and paramedics get out with a stretcher. Okay, so it's, I guess it's Stu real. really is dead. It, it, yeah. Okay. So um, the other stuff, though, the other stuff is just, it's like, I was, it's like we're just, I'm like distorting reality. I'm just distorting reality. No. It's like, it's like, it seemed like everybody was in on it, but like, that's just my brain thinking. We're in the twilight everybody's, zone. Yeah. It's just your brain thinking that. And, and, and Believing. I don't think I feel like that anymore because Paolo was fine. So. I think I'm okay. I'm not letting Michael just... walk away from me. I'm following after him. Like, I'm just going to beat it because he's my safety person at the moment. Okay, so you're grab following him. Charlie. I am oh, going to yeah. grab Charlie and be like, let's, let's just go. Let's go. We know yeah, now. You know I'm what? scared. You know we're going to walk to yeah. a death by leaving. We're going to follow Michael. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really scared because of the other game. If you took the boat, you would die. If you did this, you would die. And I'm really scared we're going to run to we, a death because we, I don't want to We might die. have survived if we took the boat and left everybody else. Oh my okay. God. <laughs> That is actually the secret of Horror Beach is uh, nobody ever takes the boat and they decide to stay behind and then they all die. <laughs> um, just ask Chris Zumsky uh, from the Wednesday night show. He could have taken the boat and left, but then he stayed behind and he also died. Um, all right. So you guys go to this bar. Uh, you, head on, you head in. Uh, there's a few people there, but uh, you guys kind of sit down. Um, and one of the guys says like, Hey, did you hear about this? There was a murder at the Farmsworth. Um, and he puts on the news and, uh, they're like, the news has just started to show up there. Uh, and they're watching like, uh, sort of police cars surrounding the building. Um, they, they, you see people with the stretcher, bring someone out, but it isn't Stu. Uh, it's somebody who is sort of moving on the gurney. Um, who looks like they had to be strapped down. Uh, and you guys recognize it as the mom uh, from from 1F. Um, and then you see, you know, as you watch, uh, you watch, like, what you take to be sort of, like, child protective services coming in and, and uh, you know, like, walking the boy out and, and things. And as the, as the evening rolls on until the bar closes, which is, like, 5 a.m., um, you were able to watch kind of everything happen there. Uh, police tape is put up, all this stuff. Um, eventually, after hours, uh, a body is taken out. Um, uh, after all sorts of detectives have shown up and, and police have worked the scene and all this stuff. And finally, you know, around 5 a.m., the guy's like, hey, all right, everybody out. We're closing up. We got to close for a few hours, and then we'll be back open again. Um... And he ushers you all out. It's not raining anymore. Um, and uh, you have a decision to go home or, you know, you guys are pretty much sober. You haven't been drinking at this bar. It's been a little bit too overwhelming. Uh, you can go home or uh, Lucy does know somebody nearby. You can guys can go visit. What what does everybody decide to do? I'm not going to your friend's house tonight. 
Um, yes. Are there like police and the ambulances still outside of the? Um, uh, there are definitely police out there, but not ambulances. Um, we can go to the ball club or to the park. I don't want to sleep at the park. Can we? Can we sleep at We're, your friend's house, it, Lucy? It's it's five a.m. Cynthia. We're not sleeping. It's five a.m. We haven't slept. I'm tired. We've been up I just want to sleep. I I kind of want to go down and ask the police some questions. Charlie, you can't I'm, talk to the cops. No, 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 no. I'm just I'm going to go down. I'm going to say, um, Lucy, what is your friend's name? Oh God, I have to make up a name. Um. <laughs> And while you're making that up, where do they live? <laughs> LaGuardo. Uh, they live... Where? <laughs> LaGuardo, what? apparently. Uh, a place in New York. Uh, he, lives on the, he lives on the Upper East Side. Thank you. Okay. Uh, he, he lives in the Upper East Side. His name is Jeremy Stone. Jeremy Stone. Uh-huh. Yeah, Jer. Uh, Jeremy Stone. Oh. Um... He's, he's an old friend of mine. We've met at a couple concerts. Uh, we could definitely go to him. We could. I'm okay. sure he would take me in a heartbeat. So I will go up to the police and I will say, hello, I live here. Um, what is happening? And if they say, why weren't you here overnight? I will say, me and my friends were at um, our buddy Jeremy Stone's place on the Upper East Side. Uh -huh. um, and... So, right? That that sounds good, right? Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. Just think and, that, I mean, and they you, can tell me if you if it's safe or, what. If you go to the cops, you are you are really risking them putting some pieces together. I just don't know why you what would go pieces? so close to the cops. I don't know. What the pieces together? is we didn't pieces? do anything wrong. We're not involved in the murder. We're sober. Look, it's fine. I like how this we, is happening on the street in the so, morning. Yeah. Outside it's of okay. Bar. It's New York. That's normal. In LaGuardia, <laughs> <laughs> this unknown it's section really of New York, the New airport, York. like <laughs> right. that's LaGuardia. No, it's LaGuardo, not LaGuardia. LaGuardia. Uh -huh. In which isn't LaGuardia is barely New York. If it is New York, um, I think it might be Jersey. Might be uh, the Statue of Liberty. Certainly is. So. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, all right, so this argument kind of happens, and people go their separate ways. Uh, Charlie goes and talks to the police. Uh, Lucy uh, looks up um, Jeremy Stone. Um, Cynthia goes with, the question is, uh, Justin, where does Michael go? Michael goes to the ballpark. Okay, uh, he goes to the ballpark. Um, and uh, comfort zone. Great. Um, and the next day passes fairly normally. Uh, the police leave. Things are, are cleaned up. The, there's still tape around the main desk. Uh, the police say that there was a murder. Um, uh, they won't really give a lot more information than that. Um, and that there was a woman who was raving in her apartment and endangering a child. Um, they're not sure if the two things are related. Um, but that otherwise, uh, people in the apartment are, are fine. Uh, people complained about some noise. Um... And uh, by the end of the day, um, or at least by the end of the next day, everybody goes home. Uh, Lucy, you're flying out in a couple of days, and so you you do your thing. You you try to recover. The one thing is that nobody's seen Donnie. Uh, and Charlie, you become obsessed with finding Donnie. Uh, you have a new bulletin board. Um, I have two. I you have, have two. yes, you have it two. Takes a lot of space. Um, and um, time passes. Time just passes. Uh, Michael, you you spend more and more time at the ballpark, uh, and eventually um, it does not work out, and you leave the city and head back home. Um, Cynthia, your career actually kind of takes off. Uh, you're able to to. Hey. Get some good stuff going. <laughs> um, you you get a couple of like small parts in movies. Um, you get a couple of off Broadway things, um, and eventually you land uh, a series which is a reboot of 
uh, of your childhood TV show, except now you're playing the uh, the school teacher. The mom. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, the school teacher in the show. Um, uh, Lucy, you head out, and um, by, let's call it 1981, you are a soccer mom. Uh, you have no. settled down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, settled down. You settled down. Uh, you have, no. you know, a couple of kids. Um, you probably a, a bunch. <laughs> uh, and you're, you know, you're sort of living in the the suburbs in North Jersey. Uh, and but whatever you know, oh, Jersey. Yeah, North Jersey. <laughs> Uh, and you're like, you know, whenever bands come to to town, you sort of reminisce. You chew all your girlfriend's ears about like, oh, I know that guy, blah, blah, blah. And life rolls on. Um, Charlie gets obsessed, uh, but also gets a couple of books published um, on unsolved crimes in New York. Uh, Michael, um, you go back home and uh, you what do you think it is Michael does with the rest of his life? Probably just takes over the family farm. And yeah, so that's that's what he does. And probably let's call it let's say you're all about twenty one ish, twenty, twenty one ish, um, at this point. So let's call it forty years later. Um you all get together because uh Charlie calls you all together, uh, makes a few phone calls, um, because they found a body um, in the basement of the Farnsworth as they were demolishing it. Uh, And it's Donnie's body. Uh, And they're able to identify him through dental records. um, And uh, 40 years on, they're able to do DNA, uh, and they connect it to his family. Um, And... uh, you all get together for a drink uh, to kind of remember Donnie, talk about where your lives are, how everything's going. Um, and it's a, it's a beautiful night. It's sad, uh, but beautiful. And one by one, you, you leave, uh, heading back to your lives. Um, it's this little family restaurant uh, that Lucy has picked out. Uh, you're all, at this point, you're in your 60s, um, and uh, Lucy's even a grandmother at this point. Um, oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> Lucy's a she grandma. At least been a trophy wife. Um, I mean, she was at the beginning, uh, but after a bunch of kids. Um, so, after kid number five. It yeah. Lucy, and Lucy's like a grandma of like 20 at this point. <laughs> And, oh my God. and she just walks you through picture after picture on her phone. Uh, you know, oh, there's Tommy and then there's Joey and then there's all the way through. Um, and it's 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 a good life. You all you all have good lives. Donnie is, you know, remembered. Um, and uh, right as as you guys are heading out, Cynthia, you look over and there's a woman sitting on the thing and she recognizes you. And she goes, you, the uh, the show. You're the you were the teacher, weren't you? Yes. Do you want an autograph? Yes, please. Oh, please. Thank you. Um, of course. Make it. Uh, oh, make it out to my son. Um, his name is Anthony. 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 What's his last name? Finelli. Anthony Finelli. He's coming, honey. You can try, but he's coming. I look around. Am I still in are the restaurant? There? Oh, yeah. Are we here? We all you heard? guys don't hear that. You guys are out okay. saying your goodbyes. Um, I, I have to go now. I know. You do have to go okay. now. Is she old? Nope. But she does um, look familiar. I'm just going to drop the pen, turn around, take a deep breath, and walk out. 
And as soon as I get to the door, I'm going to do one last look and see if she's still there. Everyone who is in the restaurant is looking at you, smiling. <gasps> I'm going to back up out of the restaurant. And you're in the hallway outside of the Fernelli's apartment. Fucking Christ! <laughs> All of you are in oh the hallway God. outside of the apartment. That's where we're going to leave it tonight. Uh, that's oh, wait, five so old. of ten. So old or young? Oh, you're back. You just, hey, you're, it's just like you, had, you haven't gone out the fire escape yet. We never made it. This is a salvia trip. If you've ever done salvia, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Legit chills and goosebumps all over me oh, right now. I feel like I'm going crazy. <laughs> oh my god! So, I thought it was over. I thought we were done. I was, I was like, like, oh, I, I guess like, we survived. So I guess we survived so soon. I was, I know me too. I was like, I thought we had more. Couldn't have been that easy. Had Couldn't have that easy. Could have just been take the fire escape and you're done. I know. I, oh, I, I was like, oh, I guess I chose the right answer. I guess I was like, oh, no. the right choice to go. We thought we took the boat, guys. We thought we took the boat. <laughs> we didn't take the boat. I was so disappointed what? that we were done so early. Mind I was like, oh, man. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So thank you for watching the worst days this week. <laughs> we'll be back next week, hopefully with a full crew. Um, oh, maybe give really Donnie oh a second god. chance. Um, <laughs> oh my god! Ah. Uh, Thank you, Bree Price, Justin Allen, Rachel Max, oh. Quinn, Steve Bold, and the <laughs> absent Michael Mars. Thank you all for hanging out in the chat and watching with us. Uh, who knows how many more episodes we have left? Um, <laughs> could could be one, could be two. We're not sure. Uh, but this is the last one. It's actually an infinite loop. Yep, it's just it's this over and over and over <laughs> again. We're in the twilight zone. <laughs> uh, so you're standing in an apartment and you've just seen a body fall past the window. Um, <laughs> oh my god, for that far back. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but that's that would be the infinite loop, is I could just oh, cut oh that god. together. Just um, every time you walk through the chance that you're back in that apartment. Um, oh yeah, so uh, hey, thank you everybody for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, we will be back uh, in a week with, um, with more of the worst days. Good night, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.